So new information just came out and this is possibly the most credible piece of information ever about DLC 5. It confirms in a very very we know a new DLC is coming into Black Ops 3 which is very exciting but however it does not say DLC 5 is coming but it does say a new DLC is coming into Black Ops 3 and uh, so far I'm sure all of you guys know that we have got 4 DLCs for Black Ops 3 and if we do get a new DLC and we're possibly going to get a new DLC because a lot of people think the 4th DLC is is the final one but it does not look like it does not look like that the fourth DLC revelation was the last one and if we are gonna get a new DLC possibly uh, that will be the fifth DLC aka DLC 5 we're gonna get down to everything in this video but hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing we do daily videos and live streams and there's a lot of fire in live streams let me tell ya so definitely do consider subscribing for more and a real quick note I waited a little bit and right now it is 2 in the morning for me by the time I'm actually recording this to be specific I'm in the East Coast so it is 2 a.m. Eastern time by the time I'm actually making this video I waited a bit because of the 1st of April I don't want to do any April Fool joke on you guys and this is real let me stress this this is real at first I was thinking about uploading a DLC 5 troll video I had that in plan for a while uh, but looking at how much it's wanted by me and you guys have decided to drop that troll and I also am a believer of DLC 5 and we have covered a lot about DLC 5 on the channel and this new information came out so I am really glad that I dropped that troll video and now this piece of information comes from Summers Dude 101 on Twitter and the way I found it was that uh, Glitching Queen brought this to everyone's attention now what Summers found was that on the investment website of Activision uh, I could honestly never imagine me being on their investment website but uh, there was a new DLC list and I really really quickly want to shout out Summers Dude 101 once again. This is such an awesome find. So Summer Dude 101, if you happen to watch this, great work and a big big shout out. Now this is the website where Activision will say what they got in store for us and what they got uh, coming in the future, what they have done in the past, and what they got coming next for their past games, uh, their current games, their future games. So companies can invest their money. Now this is really really sick. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen for you guys, and I'm gonna try my very best to explain the best way I can. Now this picture says uh, it has a title of Figure 1 ATVI Activision Future Report Pipeline. On the left we got uh, content type, we got full games, digital content and I want to I want you guys to be fully fully focused, be bullseye uh, on digital content and beneath that we got mobile titles. We're not going to look at mobile titles but we're going to look at full games. Now in 2016 we got Overwatch uh, that was released in uh, the second quarter. That's what it says here. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare in quarter 4, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, Skylander and we can see the release date, the, the quarter uh, and beneath that for DLC we got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC packs and we know that is true because we have seen the first DLC in the first quarter, the second one in the second uh, quarter and the third one uh, in quarter 3. Basically by September we got Revelation and that was it, that was done but it seems like we're gonna have more. Beneath that we got Starcraft, we got other games, Destiny, everything like that. Now to the left we got 2017 and here it says oh, for full games it says Crash Bandicoot, Destiny, Starcraft and Call of Duty and Call of Duty is set to release once again in the fourth quarter and we do not have the name I'm assuming and I guess you would assume too that would be the World War 2 title but it is not revealed by the time uh, I'm actually reading this and making this video but we could assume that is World War 2 but beneath that we got DLCs, we got Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, DLC packs, we already got DLC 1, DLC 2 is right around the corner and all of it gonna release uh, between the first quarter, second and the third one and we got other games. We also got Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remaster DLC pack. We, we just received one and it seems like there will be another one in the third quarter and uh, beneath that we got Call of Duty Black Ops 3 DLC pack but it doesn't say when it is going to release but it is under DLC for 2017 and I guess that's what Jason Blundell was talking about in the interview that I am afraid I can't say it right now uh, and I guess we're gonna get a new DLC and it says NA I'm, I'm assuming it says it stands for not available I could be wrong but it does say NA which means uh, the the date is not yet placed or listed but a new DLC is listed for Black Ops 3 and there's one uh, more information that I want to get down so stay tuned now all of it is a real real information and I'm gonna link that website in the description below if you guys want to check out by yourself and do your detective work or whatever but 
that that is real that is real we know there will be a new DLC Treyarch have confirmed that we will get more content for Black Ops 3 and Jason was talking specifically about zombies that I'm afraid I can't say it right now but uh, I want to move on to Summers Dude 101 Twitter now this is what is interesting I have personally saw a tweet from Treyarch it was uh, of course on April 1st so if you could all imagine that was a April Fool's Day and what he captured was this one right here it says stay tuned zombie span 4 11 2017 and by the time he snapped this out or uh, basically uh, the tweet was uh, sent out at 4 30 p.m. not sure what the time zone was but it was on 1st of April and it could be a April Fool's joke but again it could be something like hey Treyarch is just trying to be low-key uh, funny and just want to get something out and I've seen one tweet if I find it I will put it on the screen for you guys it had something like so how does the fifth DLC sound to you guys it has something like that and all these tweets are deleted could be a prank I'm just trying to share this with you guys and uh, let me know what you guys think and also one more thing to note is that this picture could be a Photoshop so uh, I just wanted to share with you guys let me know what you guys think and I'll, I'll see you guys very freaking soon if you guys have enjoyed this video and found this video quick give it a like subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon